Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tuscany and today we're gonna get started on an Aragorn inspired cloak. I mean, it's really just a cloak that I'm, I'm gonna use to be Aragorn. But whatever, let's get into it. All right, so if you've been tuned into this series, then you know that I have made my Aragorn tunic and vest, and now I'm working on the cloak. So I already picked up some fabric for this. I got this beautiful thing. I actually don't know what kind of fabric this is, but it has an amazing texture to it. It just kind of looks old timey. That's the thing when I pick up fabric, in general, I don't like things that look brand spanking new. <laughs> I like things that look a little bit textured, um, a, a little bit dirty. <laughs> That's just kind of like my style. I like neutral colors. I like colors that kind of look like dirt. Um, and, and I like textures that kind of look like dirt. And this kind of um, fulfills that goal. It's beautiful. It, kind of changes in the light. Sometimes it looks like more of a brown, sometimes it looks more of a green. And don't worry, this is washed. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on figuring out how I wanna wash this fabric. Probably shouldn't be putting it on my face. So this is going to be the outer fabric and I went ahead and picked up this one for the lining and this one is also washed. Woo and it's just a really nice, lightweight, beautiful color gauze. Uh, it's soft, comfortable. It's going to add a little bit of structure to the cloak, but it's not gonna make it too heavy. Um, so this is what it's going to be. I think it's, it's very um, trudging through the forest-esque, and that's what I'm going for. Now to be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm so excited for this because uh, the weather changed instantly. Uh, it was like 70 degrees like two or three weeks ago and now it's like getting into the 30s and it's, what? <laughs> so I'm actually really excited to get into this project and make a nice warm cloak to wear with things. This is definitely a project, like this is definitely something that I want to wear outside of my Aragorn outfit. This is something that I want to try to make look fairly nice so I can put it with my vintage style outfits or just wear on a regular basis. I am going to make it kind of cut off around the knee um, because I think that will make it look a little bit more modern. It also matches kind of what Aragorn's cloak is like. It does, it's not a super long cloak because he has to run in it. <laughs> so I think that is a good length and I think it'll be great to go with my vintage outfits because usually my skirts and dresses go to just below the knee. So I think having a cloak that goes about there will be perfect. I already started playing around with a mock-up for this. It's not that difficult. It's kind of like making a circle skirt, but elongating it. The problem is is that when I found this fabric, I really liked it, I wanted it, I got it, but it's a yard less than what I originally calculated. So I am going to have to play with my original pattern idea and uh, try to minimize the amount of fabric that I need for the cloak. Now, this is three yards. I think that I can manage it. Uh, and I got extra of this fabric because um, it's not as wide. So I have room to work, I think. <laughs> but I am going to have to tweak my original pattern somewhat. Now, I'll also say that uh, this week has been pretty busy and I'm getting to work on this fairly late in the week. I want to try to get this video up soon. Uh, so I'm going to try to get this done today or maybe today and tomorrow so that I have room to edit. But uh, 
I don't really have much else to say. Um, I'm really excited to do this. I think it should be pretty easy. I say that a lot. I fail a lot. It's just kind of the way of the world. Uh, so I need to get started on this and I'm going to do that. All right, let's go. I hope you, uh, like my winter pajama pants. They're sexy, aren't they? Uh -huh. So my original plan was to do this, which is, is basically kind of like a, a quarter of a circle, and then uh, do three of those. But I don't have enough fabric for that original thought. Um, so it's kind of either I take my pattern, what I have now, and do this and still make it three pieces or I do kind of the same thing but instead of doing three pieces I do two pieces and make them wider. I definitely think I can make it work with the fabric that I have uh, but it's going to take a little bit of fudging. I've also done some research on cloaks and it's like there's so many ways to do a cloak. You can basically use a rectangle and gather the top or you could do a semicircle you could do three quarters of a circle you could do a full circle you could have it like taper in the front like it's just like All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. New thought. Since uh, this fabric is wide enough and uh, long enough, I think I might as well just like cut a whole half circle out of it. I don't know why I thought about doing it in pieces. I don't think I need to do it in pieces. I think I could just do the whole thing and just not have any seams. I mean, that would be the easiest, right? Yeah, I think I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Nice chat. This thing is toasty. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little warm, which is great. That's kind of my goal for it. But I think this actually worked out really well. I like the way it, it falls. It's, it's very heavy. So I'm really happy that the lining I got is, is pretty thin. Now it is a little longer than I originally wanted to make it, but it's, I think it's still a pretty good length and there's still seam allowance to sew the lining and the outer fabric together. So I now need to figure out the lining and that one is, <laughs> oh wow. And that one is not as wide as this fabric is. So I'm definitely gonna have to do it in a couple sections for that one. But now I have a base to, to measure it against. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. Also, I have this much <laughs> times two left for the hood. So uh, I, I think we can make it work. I, I think I think we're good. Wow. I look more uh, Nazgul than I do Aragorn. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> I, I swear, like I tell you guys that I'm trying to get this project done in a day and yet I have like absolutely no motivation to sew today. Like I just want to wrap myself in a burrito and <laughs> go back to bed. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> All right, I have two of the four pieces of the lining cut out. It's kind of tedious because I don't have a whole lot of space and this fabric is very clingy, so it's definitely hard to cut it out on the, on the, the uh, carpet. <laughs> uh, but I think it's actually time for a lunch break and then maybe like an hour of Zelda. I don't really have any discipline when it comes to Zelda, so we will see but I'm gonna try to keep it to an hour, maybe two, and then get back to this. got the four panels together and now it's time to just get this and the outer fabric sewn into one piece I guess <laughs>
Good morning. Um, I did not sleep very well last night, so... Uh, I definitely see a nap in my future today, but not until I finish this cloak. Obviously, I didn't get it done yesterday, but all I really have left to do is to attach the hood and the cloak and then do a quick press on all the seams and then a top stitch. So I think I can get that done pretty quickly. Um, I also think I require another cup of coffee. And uh, yeah, I will get this cloak done today. There is really no excuse. And then I will take a nap. Yeah. Alright, so when I put on the hood, I actually left the back of the hood unsewn <laughs> so that I could flip the whole thing inside out. Um, so now I actually have to go in and clean up all this nasty thread uh, and hand stitch this closed. And then it's on to uh, pressing, I guess. Okay, I lied. Uh, I found this stupid thing. So this is where the hood connects to the cloak. And I got it perfect on the other side. No, I can't find the other side. Um, I got it perfect on the other side, but uh, this side I uh, messed up on. And I think that's going to bother me. Originally I was like, man, I'm just going to leave it. But I actually, I think it's going to really bother me. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of this out and fix it. And that's frustrating. Oh, well. Well, that was a unpleasant detour, but that looks so much better. Okay, I'm happy now. Oh my goodness, guys, I have a cloak. I never thought that I'd be so satisfied in something that I made, but it's a cloak. I, I mean, like I've wanted a cloak since forever. Uh, I actually almost had my mom make one for me when I was in middle school because I went through like this serious vampire emo phase, <laughs> but we never ended up doing it. I think I was a little too self-conscious. Uh, and now I'm like, yeah, it. I want a cloak and now I have one and it's amazing. It was a really fast process. Um, I still have a couple things to do. Obviously, 
having a safety pin closure isn't the cutest look in the world. Uh, I do plan to get a different kind of brooch that is strong enough to hold it because this thing is heavy. <laughs> this is a winter cloak for sure. Uh, so yeah, I want to get something that will be strong enough to clasp here and I don't have to worry about it breaking or bending or whatever. Other things I need to do is I need to do the top stitch on the, um, on the edges because it does kind of flop around a bit. And I'm still deciding on if I want to do that by machine or if I want to do that by hand. So that's partly why I decided not to do it today. I also want to get this video up so I decided that that can wait. <laughs> I think I want to add like armholes so that I can actually like have it closed and be able to use my arms in it. I think that will make it more functional. Obviously they don't have that in the cloaks, their elven cloaks in Lord of the Rings, but I wanna make this something that I can wear with all the things, uh, not just my Aragorn inspired outfit. So I think having some armholes in it would help this. <laughs> uh, but besides that, it's done. I mean, honestly, there's really not, it's just like small little things that I need to finish, but it is a finished cloak. Like if I really wanted to, I could wear this like I am currently. It is very warm and toasty. And it is, it is basically a blanket. I feel like I should make a playlist on my channel that's like basically a blanket because that's, that's been a few things that I've made. I really just like wearing really comfortable, warm things. I'll also say that I am really stoked about the hood. Uh, I think it looks great. I kind of just made it up and uh, I did a bad thing and didn't do a mock-up of the hood. I was just like, I think that works and I just cut it out and I went with it even though I had like literally no leftover fabric to work with if I messed it up. So uh, I'm stoked that the hood actually looks good. It uh, will keep my head warm. Not that I really need that because uh, I have plenty of hair that already does that, but if it ever gets below, you know, 20 degrees here, which doesn't happen, I'll have a nice warm hood in addition to my uber thick hair to keep me warm. Did you guys notice? I got new glasses. They're uh, progressives, so I can I can see things up close if I go like that. It's really great. Actually, my eyes are still adjusting to them because I haven't updated my prescription in three years. So my eyes are kind of not happy about that, but they're so cute and I love them. All right, well, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, cloaks are fantastic. They take up so much fabric. Like it's so much fabric. And I'm so happy that the three yards worked for me, but like some of the patterns I was following are like six yards of fabric. And I'm like, why? So much fabric. It's like, it's a, it's a great beginner project. If you have the money for it, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> But it was just a really simple, kind of relaxing project. Like I mentioned yesterday, I wasn't really feeling the sewing vibes, but uh, I still managed to get it done in like 24 hours, which is kind of impressive for me. Uh, so next week I'll be doing a couple accessories for my Aragorn inspired outfit and then I'll go ahead and finish up the little details that I need to finish on this as well as some details that I need to finish on my vest and my tunic and I can go ahead and get the whole outfit together. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope you go and make your own wonderful warm blanket cloak. Go ahead and leave a comment below, like this video, or even subscribe. Have a wonderful Halloween, and I'll see y'all next time.